Hello everyone, I am Dr. Naveen Kumar LV. I am a senior consultant in orthopedics and sports injuries at Manipal Hospital Sarjap Road. Today we are going to talk about carpal tunnel syndrome. This is a uh, very common condition. A lot of you might have heard this word, but there's a lot of myths and scare around this problem. Because when people get numbness in the hand or tingling kind of sensation in the hand or pain in the hand, or even some weakness and clumsiness with the hand. So all of these things many times gets attributed to cervical spine. People start thinking that there is some nerve which is getting pinched in the, in the neck, blah, 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 and people will start worrying about that. But honestly, a lot of people will be having pressure on the nerve which is in the wrist area, where the median nerve it's called. It's a nerve which traverses from all the way from our spine comes down here and it's under the band in the wrist area where it goes and travels to the hand and supplies to these three and a half fingers. Sometimes people will have a bit more vague symptoms where it can be whole of the hand but more commonly this is the area where you will have symptoms. If you have pain or symptoms in more than two fingers then it is more likely to be something due to pressure down here not because of the spine. Because if you have got a disc which is bulging and pressing on and now, it will supply, that particular nerve will supply to only a particular finger and cause problems. So if it is more than two fingers, then it can't be due to spine, you can rest assured. But if it is carpal tunnel syndrome like I am talking about. So that is something which causes symptoms more so at night rather than during the daytime. So carpal tunnel syndrome is because of the nerve compression in the wrist area. So the nerves which supply to the hand, particularly the ones which supply to the three and a half fingers on the thumb side, those nerves come from deep inside there and they cross over to the thumb uh, and the rest of the hand beneath the carpal tunnel. So this is the carpal tunnel sheath which is the ligament which sort of can become tighter and press on the nerve causing the carpal tunnel syndrome. People sometimes would have left it for longer, more than a year or longer, then we will also see some thinning of the muscles in the thumb base area, that's called wasting of the muscles and also some clumsiness with the, with the use of the hand. This is a condition which can bother people a lot but treatments can often be very simple. This particular condition doesn't respond much to medications or exercises. However, you can try a bit of exercises which are simple stretching exercises. But more commonly, this one will at least need an injection which we do for that, which will be to help take away the inflammation in and around the nerve. So by doing that, a lot of people get better, but there's a small chance that even after the injection, the symptoms may come back. And in people in whom the symptoms have recurred, or in people in whom already there is some amount of muscle weakness and wasting as well. There it definitely needs a surgery which will be again a small surgery where we make a little cut over here and release the tight band for that reason. Okay, by doing that we can actually help the nerve work in a back to normal way. It may take few weeks for you to recover from that one depending upon how long you have had the symptoms for but it can cure your problem completely. Uh, this is one of the things which you must consider. One more point to note, this is not a kind of condition which we can diagnose by doing an MRI scan for the neck or for the hand. The common uh, investigation which gets done for this is nerve conduction study. Uh, so that you need to remember. Uh, but this is the condition which can be cured without needing any big intervention. I hope this helps. Thank you.